corruption in Texas. People are protesting and telling Rick Perry that they need to stop executions. Push the death penalty are in front of the governor's mansion saying, we'll have a photo of Sarge and a sign that tonight, Clay Foster's execution will be number 247 for Rick Perry, the most killing governor in the history of the United States. And it will be... That's uh, Jason Clark, uh, spokesperson for the Texas Department of Criminal Justice. It's uh, Jason, J-A-S-O-N, Clark, C-L-A-R-K. Uh, Jason, tell me what's the status uh, right uh, now, just a little after four. Yeah. Around 4 p.m., uh, Jonathan Green's attorneys filed an appeal with the U.S. Supreme Court, and that appeal is being reviewed at this time. What was his, uh, how was he doing? You visited with him earlier today? Yeah, uh, Green arrived uh, at the Walls unit earlier today. I would just describe him as, as very quiet. He said maybe one or two words and uh, spent the rest of the time sitting on his bunk. What's he doing now? Green is in a small holding cell just outside the execution chamber. Uh, he's meeting with the chaplains. Uh, here in a few minutes, he'll be receiving a last meal. Uh, and uh, a little after 6 p.m., if all the appeals have been exhausted, uh, then the execution will move forward. If the appeal before the U.S. Supreme Court is still pending, uh, then we just uh, sit and wait. What's the feeling? To, is there any feeling on, uh, has he been here before on, on other appeals? He's had he has had appeals? a previous execution date. Uh, I don't believe he was transported, though. I believe uh, that uh, was uh, stayed previously. Uh, Green's case, uh, recently, a federal judge issued a stay on Monday, stopping the execution. The Attorney General's office then appealed that to the Fifth Circuit Court of Criminal Appeals. Uh, that court then vacated that stay, and now the defense has uh, issued an appeal before the U.S. Supreme Court, and that's where we're at right now. So it's still a go, but with appeals in process. Right. The, you know, when there's appeals pending, uh, those appeals have to be heard before we move forward with the process. I understand. Families are, I assume, their own location. Uh, what, what, what kind of witness pool do we have? Uh, there are witnesses that are scheduled to, to witness tonight if it goes through. Uh, on the victim side, the victim's mother and father, as well as an investigator and spiritual advisor there. Uh, on the offender side, uh, two sisters. Any other comment that you'd like to answer? No. You need anything on the crime itself? Uh, yeah, let's do a little bit of that. What, what, uh, I, I know, but let's yep. do it just for What was his offense? Uh, Jonathan Green was convicted and sentenced to death for the uh, June 2000 kidnapping and murder of Christina Neal. Neal uh, was a 12-year-old girl that was walking uh, from her home uh, in Montgomery County when uh, she was uh, kidnapped by Green, sexually assaulted, and then killed and uh, Green uh, subsequently buried her in the backyard of his home. I understand, has he uh, shown any remorse or has he admitted guilt or anything in his stay here when you were? Uh, I've not had those kind of conversations with him. I can tell you in my dealings with him, uh, he's not said hardly anything. He's just uh, uttered one or two words. Very good. What, is he number 10 for yep. the? If the execution's carried out, uh, Green will be the 10th person executed in the state of Texas this year. And I understand we have three more scheduled this month. Yeah. Uh, in October, uh, there are four executions that have been scheduled. Uh, for October, there are four executions that have been scheduled, including this one. Okay. Now, any other comment that you'd like to No, make? sir. Very good.
Name and position, please, sir. Yeah, it's uh, Jason Clark, J-A-S-O-N, Clark, C-L-A-R-K, spokesperson for the Department of Criminal Justice. Uh, Jonathan Green was executed tonight for the 2000 murder of 12-year-old Christina Neal. Uh, Green kidnapped, uh, sexually assaulted, and then killed uh, Neal uh, in his home in Montgomery County. Uh, Green did make a last statement. He said, I'm an innocent man. I did not kill anyone. Y'all are killing an innocent man. My left arm is killing me. It hurts bad. He then slipped into unconsciousness, and he was pronounced deceased at 10.45 p.m. 10.45. I noticed I didn't see any witnesses for him to go in. Did, uh, did, their, did the family leave? Uh, Mr. Green, let me start that over. Uh, uh, Green did not have any witnesses. Originally, there were two uh, witnesses on his side, uh, two sisters, but they did not come. Okay. Any other comments? That's it. Okay. Thank you, sir. Good